<laughs> what I was trying to say is next week I'm going to a hackathon. I love hackathons, they're like one of my favourite things I get to do as a bioinformatician working in biomedical research. Yeah, I'm a nerd, pretty much. Uh, but that's what's happening next week. So, because we're going to be diving into the tips and tricks to best prepare for your first hackathon, because they're great and you should smash them. Hi everyone, welcome back to Genomics with Georgia. On today's video, we're going to be discussing everything you need to know to best prepare for attending your first hackathon. As a very wise old manager once told me, perfect preparation prevents piss poor performance. So if you want to abide by the six Ps and be well prepared for your first hackathon, stay tuned on this episode. In the world of bioinformatics and biology-driven data science, hackathons and other such events with different names are a common thing that we bioinformaticians attend. If you're new here, hi, my name's Georgia and I'm a bioinformatician and I've been working as a bioinformatician for nearly five years now in the field and I've attended multiple hackathons in my time. Next week, I've got a hackathon coming up with CR UK and I thought I'd take you through the best steps to prepare for attending such events. Now, first things first, hackathons can also be called many other different names. The one I'm attending next week is called a datathon. They can also be called a data challenge. A previous um, senior member of leadership wanted to call something an analithon, which for obvious reasons didn't stick. But you really need to be aware that these things can have multiple different names, but I feel like hackathon is the umbrella term for when a bunch of coders get in a room and they hack out a solution to a problem, maybe over a day, two days or a week. So first of all, what do you need to bring to your first hackathon? So usually you'll want to bring your own laptop. They won't usually provide you with actual hardware to work on, but usually they'll give you a login for the compute cluster, but you've got to bring your own laptop. Also, don't forget your charger. Very, very important. You might also want to bring a notebook and a pen. Sometimes they might give you some merchandise notebooks, but it's always good on day one to bring your own notebook anyway, in case you want to be scribbling out some ideas. Also, hydration station, remember to bring your water bottle and any refillable coffee cups you might have so you can get your sweet fix of caffeine at the local canteen. Next up, how do you actually prepare before you go to the event to make sure that you're going to have the best time possible? First of all, you want to make sure that you have researched the theme of the event thoroughly before attending or be familiar with the problems that that research hackathon is trying to solve. So if it's a glioblastoma hackathon then make sure you have a little brush up on glioblastoma just in case even if you're not a neurology expert if there's a hackathon where there might be multiple projects make sure that you read up on the multiple projects being offered and make sure you can try and understand a little bit of the domain and rationale behind why the project is being taken to a hackathon. If that company run multiple hackathons, it might be a good idea to check out previous hackathons that have happened before and see if any of the results were published anywhere. This could be a really great way to familiarize yourself with the kind of output that might be expected. But essentially, get familiar with the theme of the event because that means that when you come to the hackathon, you're going to be able to really give ideas that are relevant and creative if you've had a big think beforehand about the topics you're going to be delving into. Next, you might want to brush up on programming languages being used at the hackathon. So usually you'll probably be doing, oh, Python or R. So just make sure that you've refreshed your Python and R coding. Also, they might just specify specific things that might be used in the hackathon. So say if you're developing a pipeline, you might want to brush up on your pipeline tools. Maybe if you know that you're working with certain databases like TCGA, you might want to make sure that you are familiar with downloading data from TCGA and what data is available within that data set. Sometimes if you're working with a certain data set, there might already be notebooks online showing you how to access that data and wrangle certain bits of info out of it. So just being familiar with the tools used in the hackathon is really helpful. And finally, make sure that you have access to all the collaboration platforms that might be being used. So whether that's making sure you've got a GitHub account, you might have to have Slack access, maybe they've got some other platform they're using, but make sure you're familiar with the collaboration platforms because that's how you're gonna work with your team and you need to be able to work with your team from the get-go. So don't be that person who can't connect because it's so 
Next up, you might want to reach out to people who have attended the hackathon before, or maybe the organizers, just for some tips and tricks about what to expect. It also gets your name out there. It means that people have got a name they can put a face to when they meet you, and it can just help ease the nerves if you feel a bit unfamiliar in that environment if you've never been in one before. And then finally, if you've been put in a team together pre-hackathon, then you might wanna reach out to your team, see if you can have a call beforehand, get familiar so that the first time that you actually get in a room, you've already done the introductions, you've done the getting to know each other, and you can just dive in straight away to coming up with problems and solutions. And then I'm going to round off the video by going through some mindset tips for attending your first hackathon. So I think hackathons are incredible opportunities to A, network with people in the community and feel like you're not a lonely coder doing some lonely task. They're also really good to expand your skill set. You might end up working on a project that you'd never even thought of using tools you didn't know about. It's a really great learning opportunity. So you need to make sure that you go into the hackathon ready to learn and embrace ideas. So it's really important that if someone's got an idea, you don't just shut it down. You say things like, ah, oh, yes, and when you go to the hackathon, you go in with an open mind. You don't go in with a bulldozing idea of this is what I want to do and it's my way or the highway. Hackathons are inherently collaborative. So you need to make sure that you go in there with open ears, listen to people's ideas, try and build up people's ideas rather than just try and bulldoze your own through. It's a really great way to develop team working skills, code collaboratively, which sometimes in academia, you don't get that many opportunities to do. So come in with that energy of creativity and teamwork because that's what hackathons are all about. And then finally, you need to make sure that you are well rested for the hackathon. They can be quite draining weeks. I mean, your social battery for one gets pretty depleted because you're spending days with people you don't know, having to like be switched on all the time and discussing ideas. So it's exhausting. So just make sure that you are well rested, you're well fed and you get some sleep before the event because it's going to be a really really fun time it's really gonna be one of these moments in your career that you remember like there's so many weeks across the year that we forget <laughs> i don't know about you but i forget a lot of the weeks in my year whereas you know you'll remember the hackathons that you've gone to so make sure that you are fully invested in the event so those are my little tips and tricks for your first hackathon. I'm really excited for my hackathon next week. I'm gonna be working with a bunch of new people I've never met before. I'm gonna be working on a unknown project yet because we need to still decide it. So hopefully I'll bring you some more updates along the way of the hackathon or the datathon that I'm going to. But for now, thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I hope you have liked the content. If you wanna see more more of these things and similar sorts of videos make sure to like the video comment below and subscribe to the channel to join the community and i'll see you again on another video of genomics with georgia bye